going on? It is Leah here again with another video for you. And guess what we're doing today? We're doing June faves because I'm a little late on this bandwagon yet again. I don't know what it is, guys. I have been pre-recording videos that have not been uploaded yet. Um, we are in the midst of packing, and I look very sweaty today because my work has just kicked in their summer camp, so I'm with the kids longer than usual. I'm starting to get a bit of a tan. I don't know if you guys can really tell from the crappy lighting in my room, but... Whatever, I'm starting to get a little bit darker. Life is kind of crazy right now, and I'm really sorry that this video is also late because I know that my May favorites last month was really late. I apologize. My life is just crazy right now. Okay, let's just get down to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm including this small little clip in the beginning of the video because I forgot to mention my favorite Revlon lip butter to you guys, and I know that I do it every single month. My favorite one for the month of June is from their new collection also called Juicy Papaya. I've been wearing it like crazy. That's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. It is really quite sheer. And you can build it up to be more intense coral. It's on my lips right now. I just put it on for you guys. And it's a really, really nice soft coral color. Um, if you don't want to, it to be so wham, bam in your face, I'm wearing coral lips. It's a really, really pretty color. So I really like this guy for the month of June. From all the craziness and everything that's been going on. I have been smelling amazingly awesome with Victoria's Secret Love Spell Body Spray. My boyfriend picked this up for me actually as a Christmas gift that I forgot to include in my Christmas haul, sorry. Um, but it smells to die for. So amazing. If you guys haven't smelled Love Spell by Victoria's Secret, it's basically cherry blossoms and peach. The only downside about using this and spraying this is the kids want to use it because it smells so good and I keep it in my bag. And the other part is the mosquitoes really like it too. So I'm just being swamped with mosquitoes. It ain't fun. But I smell amazingly awesome. So if the mosquitoes like me too, whatever. I'm just that flat. My next favorite I have is um, a new face powder that a lot of people were talking about and a lot of people have. And it is the Super BB one from Physicians Formula. I specifically picked up this shade in medium dark because I'm getting a little bit tanned for the summer. Um, so before I hit my bronzer, I was using this guy. It's a really nice powder. It's very soft to the touch. It does feel a smidgy bit chalky, just a smidgy. But I mean, the color is really, really good, and it blends into my skin, and it just gives me a little smidge bit of color. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. It has like the lift up packaging, like I hate, but whatever. Um, with the mirror and then the little brush. I've been absolutely loving this face powder for the month of June. It is fantastic. It is awesome. It doesn't make you oily. Um, the only thing I can say about it is it is a little bit heavy, so just be light upon application. Um, it's definitely not as smooth as my Dream Matte one, but I purposely picked it because it was designated for oil-free and BB. So, I mean, like right now with my skin, because I'm out in the heat and I'm getting lots of pimples and stuff, it's not exactly all that cute. So I wanted like a more heavier face powder. It's amazing and I just I was suckered in by the cute packaging too. Look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle. The next one I have is actually a nail polish favorite this month and everybody was talking about this color and I really wanted to get it and it is Essie's Matte Beautiful Color in Mint Candy Apple. It is absolutely pretty. Obviously you can tell I don't have it on my nails. It's on my feet. It's such a gorgeous color. I have got lots of compliments since I've been wearing my flip flops and stuff at work since summer's kicked in. And it's just a, such a beautiful pretty color. You can wear this all year round. Summertime, wintertime, fall time, whatever. This color is amazingly awesome. And if you have a chance to go pick it up, it's really quite popular. It's kind of hard to find. It took me a while to find this one. Um, but I finally found it at Walmart actually. And I think they were on sale. But it was the very last one on the stand and I snatched that sucker up so quick because I didn't even look at what color it was. I'm like, I know what color that is. Next one we have is a, another face product and I've been using this one for the month of June quite a bit. Not every day, but quite a bit. And this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I picked this up for my first trip to MAC. I have not been back to MAC since this trip actually. Such a beautiful color. So nice. Looks to die for. Swatches beautifully. Look at that. Ooh, so sparkly. I absolutely love it. I put it on just like just on the highlight of my cheekbones for the summer. Oh, it looks gorgeous in the sun. Love this. Love it. Love it. The other face powder I have from MAC is actually my one and only blush from MAC that I've been wearing a ton. A ton. Like the end of May, beginning of June, and even now into July. It's in the color Fleur Power. 
if you guys can read it. That's a legit color, don't believe me? Too bad. This is what the color looks like. It's just a really nice, soft, kind of peachy coral color. It is absolutely beautiful. The pigmentation is amazing. It may not look like it from my finger. That's what the color looks like right there. And I just love this sucker on my cheeks for the summer. So pretty. I am looking into getting some more MAC blushes. If you guys have any recommendations for fair skinned people like me, comment down below and let me know. Um, I hear a lot of people talking about gingerly, but it's an orange blush. I don't really know if I want to do that. I have swatched well dressed and I've seen well dressed in person. It's not really a color that I might go for. I hear a lot about Melba. Melba? I think that's what it's called. I think. But I hear a lot about that color too. I have yet to see that one and swatch it. But I absolutely love Fuller Power. It's my one and only MAC blush and I love it to pieces. So now we're going to be getting into some lip products and I actually have quite a few. So the first one I have is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss and this is in the color Bellini. It's a really nice kind of baby pink nude. It's a really really sheer kind of pinkish nude color. It's really really pretty. I actually put it on my lips right now so you guys can see. It's not too sticky. Texture-wise, it's not too sticky, but it is a little sticky. This is really hard to do over a webcam, let me tell ya. So that's essentially what the color looks like. It gives you like a little bit of a pinky nude. It's pretty. I like it. Um, staying power is meh meh, but I just really like the color. Packaging cute. And I've been wearing it a lot in the month of June. The other favorites I have are lipsticks. One is by Revlon, two is by MAC. First one from uh, Revlon is number 674 in Coralberry. Absolutely adore, adore this color. It's coming off more red than coral on the camera, but it's just because of the lighting. That's what it looks like right there. It's a really nice, everyday, soft coral that you can wear on your lips and looks phenomenal with like pretty much anything you're wearing. Love this. And then my two MAC lipsticks of who have been wearing a ton, ton, ton for the month of June. Um, this one is in Hue. I absolutely love this. It is like the perfect pinky nude. But as you guys can see from the swatch right there, it's very, very sheer. It's very, very nude. But, I mean, it's the perfect nude for the lips. It doesn't look too beige. It doesn't look too brown. It's a really, really nice, like, nudie pink. Oh, it's beautiful. Then the other one that is everybody's favorite, and it's become my faves too, is Angel. And it's a really nice pink. Oh, it's so pretty. I've been using this like nobody's business. I think this is going to be like one of my number one lipsticks that I'm going to use up so, so quick. This one right here above my finger is Hue, and then this one is Angel. To describe Angel for me, it's like the perfect baby pink lipstick that I've been always trying to find but never looks good. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. It looks awesome on lots of skin tones from what I've seen. And it's a very, very, very popular MAC lipstick. I've been using a lot of the Stila Convertible Color Little Sample Guy I got from Sephora in the color Peony, Peony, however you want to say it. That's what the color looks like. You guys can see my fingerprints are all over. It is a cream blush product, so you do have to blend it out. But when you do, it gives you like a little bit of contour and a little bit of blush in one. It is perfect. It's so pretty. And I'm going to be buying the full size of this guy when the sample is gone. Garnier Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream. You can pick this up at any, any drugstore, basically. I know you're probably thinking, Leah, you're young. You don't really have wrinkles under your eyes. But it's really, really nice for firming when I'm not getting a lot of sleep and it like reduces the puffiness a lot in the morning so like my concealer goes on really well so I really like this product too and my last product I have to share with you guys for the month of June I was kind of uh uh about when I first bought it but the reason why I decided to try it um is because apparently this version is very good and waterproof and this is the Maybelline's The Rocket Mascara. I'm not crazy about the brush. I will be honest. I'm not crazy about this brush. I'm not crazy about this mascara, but it works amazingly well for waterproof mascara. What the brush looks like. It does have bristles, as you guys can see, but they're really, really short. I like my mascara brushes to be longer. The waterproof version is amazingly well. Plus, when I'm with the kids, my makeup tends to droop anyway. So it gives me a lot of volume, waterproof volume, but it doesn't give me a lot of length. But that's okay because I'm technically wearing my sunglasses all day long anyway. But I absolutely really, really like this mascara. The waterproof is awesome whenever I'm swimming or doing um, water activities with the kids. So I love it. And this is in... 
black just straight up black all right guys that's it those are my june favorites i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i love going onto my channel and seeing that my numbers are going up i love it thank you so much for subbing if you're brand new to my channel i love you love you love you and i send you nothing but kisses mwah, 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 mwah. but you probably don't want kisses because my lip gloss may be sticky <laughs> i'm so thankful for all my subbers for watching my videos um i'm sorry this video is late um but like i said life is crazy so oh well hit that like button down below and hit the sub button if you're brand new. I got lots of um, pre-recorded videos coming up including a haul, a drugstore haul. So I've been kind of collecting things over the last couple weeks. So that'll be coming up really, really soon. And until next time, hope you guys have an awesome summer day. See you later. Bye.